it's been almost a week since I ran the uh, threading tool into the workpiece and I'm getting over the worst of my uh, frustration, disappointment, anger, uh, insecurities and I'm ready to try again but before I uh, start over I want to see if uh, this uh, workpiece is still usable, fixable, whatever as you can see the uh, accident uh, broke off the tool bit and uh, the uh, workpiece moved and the face of uh, the workpiece is no longer running through so that was basically a game over but there is a possibility that I can uh, polish this out and uh, make it uh, usable first I'll uh, mark the location in the chuck so I can uh, more or less get it back in the same position but I might need to use the uh, four jaw don't worry I'm not gonna run it like this I just wanna see if uh, the spindle will fit from this side I was very close to finishing the thread so maybe it'll fit Well, it looks like I made a uh, sloppy thread again. So, uh, not only did I screw up by running the uh, tool into the workpiece, I also made a uh, sloppy thread and obviously cut uh, the register to a uh, small rate. Well, all good reasons to uh, start over. I got the workpiece back in the uh, chuck but as you can see the face of the workpiece isn't uh, running through anymore I gave it a few tries but uh, I cannot get it better than uh, about two hundredths of a millimeter run out um, I was uh, planning to skim this surface because it is a bit rough and it needed another cut with a uh, sharp tool but I'll forget about that because I don't want to uh, spend a lot of time on this uh, mediocre part with its sloppy threads so I'll knock down the high spots with uh, this diamond hone and then uh, uh, use some sandpaper on the register try to open it up a little more and uh, well remove the idiot marks and then I, I will fit a spindle again see what I got I should chamfer this but no way I can get this uh, running through again in the uh, tree jaw and I don't want to spend the time to install the uh, four jaw added some extra scratches okay that feels uh, good enough to polish
Hmm, not bad. This is a 120 grit. keep doing that for a while. Um, remember there was a bit of a taper on the uh, on the spindle uh, register. Uh, it went from 45.99 in the back here to about 46 millimeter in the front here. So I guess I have to uh, form that uh, taper using a bit of sandpaper. This is a 540 400 grid. That's shiny enough. All right, I'll clean it up and then I'll uh, test fit the spindle. I spent maybe uh, 10 minutes polishing that uh, spindle. Let's see what happens. I'm going to use the tail stock again to line it up. Pretty loose. It's getting a bit tighter. Almost there. Look at that, it fits. So only a tiny bit had to come off the register. Damn, I was so close. Anyway, I uh don't like those loose threads and uh, I will use this for some uh, much needed practice and then I'll uh, start over. I actually got a great tip uh, in one of the comments and I'm uh, dying to start over but uh, not today because it's uh, windy outside and it gets uh, drafty in this old barn. I don't want to end up with a stiff neck again. Alright, um, thanks for uh, your support in these uh, days of uh, crisis and uh, to be continued.